everybody, um, a different video today, instead of doing a review, um, I'm just going to perhaps just show you the um, Dungeons & Dragons and Warplane collection that I've amassed um, over the years. I started somewhere around about 1981, um, when I got into it with a bunch of uh, people to start playing this wonderful, strange, different game called Dungeons & Dragons. had to be advanced Dungeons & Dragons too. Um, I got very interested in the game, bought the uh, the books, the Dungeon Master's Guide, the Player's Handbook, the Monster Manual, but uh, primarily I was interested in the adventures. And so um, I used to go to Cardiff uh, back in the day, and uh, two, three shops, Beatty's was one, um, Virgin Mega Store was another, and uh, a fellow called F.C. Parker, who had a shop in one of the arcades in Cardiff itself. Um, I used to go to all three. And every now and again I pick up a bargain when they put one of the models uh, for sale, particularly Virgins, where one time they had a raft of uh, middle earth role playing models, which they put um, down to a pound, so I bought quite a lot of them, and you could see them in the uh, in the uh, the scrolling by here. Um, so yeah, there was a large collection, and uh, by and large I collected very much over the years. Particularly when uh, in the latter part of the 90s, I found uh, eBay was selling them as well from people who wanted to offload their collections or for whatever reason. So I started buying from them, and this is where I got the bulk of my collection from. Um, I used to hunt for the bargains, you know, the misspelled titles or the uh, models, the misspelled words from Dungeons and Dragons and so on. And these are generally flying the river, so I used to get them for quite a nice um, penny, if you know what I mean. Um, so this went on for a while, but then all of a sudden um, I lost my job, and uh, it's a long story, but uh, it was just to do with the way this person ran the uh, the job. Anyhow, um, that's the past. Thing is, um, I found myself out of work, and therefore I had some money to fall back on, um, but unfortunately my wife didn't work as well, so we had to try and find uh, jobs. So while we were desperately doing that, um, we had bills to pay. Uh, the only way I could pay these bills was to start selling off my uh, Dungeons & Dragons uh, models back on eBay. This time I got slightly more than what I would normally have had for them, um, so they helped. In fact, I raised enough money to um, start robbing Peter to pay Paul, start paying the bills. Fortunately, um, after a couple of months, um, I found work and so did my wife. So uh, we managed to you know, get back on our feet again. And, uh, um, the thing was, uh, I did have an idea of going back to eBay and we start buying the uh, the modules again just to build them a collection. But by that time, uh, the um, I would say I don't know what they would call it, Amazon factor perhaps, where Amazon is to jack up the prices of their stuff, the second hand, to restore prices, and not many people could afford it. But they started reflecting on uh, eBay as well, with the prices there started going up. In fact, they went up so much that it just really wasn't worth buying them, you know, for the kind of value you put on them. They were probably like 30 quid, 40 quid more on models that they used to buy for about five pounds back in the day. It just didn't seem to be worth it. And certainly while I'm working now, uh, my budget is, or my pay is not that great. It's enough to pay for the house and uh, everything else, you know. But it's not enough to indulge in these kind of uh, luxuries that would have been Otherwise, the case if I had a better pay job, even if I knew in the National Lottery, I'm thinking, is it worth it? By the end of the day, um, I decided to fall back on PDFs, uh, which I now have on the tablet, and uh, it's quite simple. And just to read it, I mean, you've got every single thing the TSR ever produced on the tablet, and um, it's great to read it in the night time before you fall asleep. And if you want to play, then what I do normally is I print out the maps. And I pin them to the uh, dungeon master screen, which I still have, and uh, start playing uh, from there with the tablet and the table in front of me. Um, by and large, it's a workable uh, thing of doing that as well. Um, but um, that's it really. Uh, just hopefully, just look at the pictures and uh, see whether or not you own those models yourself. And uh, if your connection is anything like mine, you may be have far, far more. In fact, you may have all the collectibles, the real rares. You may see one or two rares here, that uh, they're not so rare, rare, if you know what I mean. Uh, I've people collected them and had good money from them. I've never been that lucky. 
Anyway, um, have a good day. Enjoy yourself and uh, take a look at the pictures. Yeah, no wrong.